In this video, we're gonna talk about eight steps that I have about being present and giving more attention to people. So I have a question for you. Have you ever been chatting away to someone and then they're tapping away on the mobile phone, you know, and they're going, mm, mm, and they're like, you know, tapping away and they're not actually listening, you know they're not listening. How many times has that happened? They're so focused on, what's happening on Twitter and Facebook and social media or texting someone and things and they're not actually actively listening that I've seen a couple of times in movies they're like yeah and the house burnt down and like yeah and they're not they're not listening how many times has that happened it's absolutely crazy and the thing is I've been there on numerous times where I've been speaking to myself I've been on the phone to someone and they're making that mm, mm, noises and you know and you're like why am I even wasting my energy you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of crazy. But, you know, it would be fantastic if everyone actually was paying attention, being present in that moment. How much could we actually build our relationships and have a better relationships with our children and our spouse and our friends and family and everything else? So I have eight steps in this very quick video for you. So step one is to pay attention and be present. You know, if someone's talking to you, turn the mobile off, put it down and listen. Focus in on them and what they're saying and give, because you know what, give, give them your full attention because you know what, you could actually miss out on something really, really important if you're tapping away on the mobile phone and things. So just be present. The same example I could give you is your children. You know, when they come to you and go, more, 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 dad, dad, I've got this, I've got that. And you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm busy. Please don't. <laughs> I, I've been guilty of this in the past as well. And I'm like, no, no, I'm busy, you know, da, 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 come back in a minute. Um, yeah, it's really, no, 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 no. What I do now is, right, give me two minutes. I'll, I'll just finish this sentence, this chapter, this, this whatever I'm doing, or I'll just save the work I'm doing. And then I look at them and I, I focus in on what they want and I actively listen to what they're saying to me. So that's step one. So step one is pay attention and be present. Step two, turn your phone and laptop off. There is nothing worse than the phone keep pinging. You know, we're in this, we're in this age at the moment where we get every email, every notification, every, um, you know, social media little thing, and the phones are popping, pinging, and everything every five minutes. And we could also be working on our laptops, and we've got so many tabs open at the top, and then something will ping, and you'll go, oh, you'll stop all your work that you're doing on one tab, flip over to the other one, and have a look what's going on there. It's like, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. You need to focus on whatever you're doing. So, turn everything off. You know, it, it's kind of nice when you get that full, again, it's about being present and giving attention because this is what the video is about. But say, for example, you go out for a meal, put your phone on silent. When you get, you know you've got to do it in the cinema and in the theatre, so, you know, turn the phone, put it on silent and turn it over so you're not even seeing if the light comes on or anything else. So, step three, take one day off a week to refresh and recharge. There is nothing better in life than being able to switch everything off, and especially if you go with somewhere, <laughs> and I know it happens in England, especially in this county that I live in, but you know, sometimes you cannot even get a signal. Where I live, I can hardly get a signal, but if I go to the local supermarket, I've got a signal and I, I said and everyone laughs I'm like right I'm moving into the I'm moving into the shopping aisle and um, just walk around me you know um but you know it'd be great if you could take one day off a week if you can and if you can't <clears throat> excuse me um just try and schedule in an hour or two hours and just turn everything off and go somewhere just Go, go and, you know, go and visit somewhere, go and do something, sit in the park, have, um, you know, five minutes to yourself just reading a book or something, you know, just take time off. It helps with refreshing and recharging both your head, your mind, your soul, everything. Step four, get a good night's sleep. How many of you are living on four, five, six hours sleep? 
not good at all. Again, you need to refresh, you need to recharge, and that's the only way we can do it, is to have a good night's sleep. So if you're getting up at 6 a.m., you need to be in bed and asleep by 11 roundabout. That gives you seven hours sleep. Still not enough, but you know, it, it's enough to kind of, it's better than the four or five hours that you might be getting at the moment. Step five is to relax and meditate. Um, a lot of people can't do this again in this day and age, I've just mentioned with everything pinging and going off. If you can get into a momentum and get into a rhythm of turning everything off and actually relaxing. And <clears throat> for example, if you have just done the school run, instead of coming straight home back on the laptop to carry on with your work, sit down with a cup of coffee, drink of orange juice, you know, a smoothie, anything like that, and just chill for 10 minutes, even if it is 10 minutes. Um, to meditate, which is something I like to do, I like it to be all silent, I like everything turned off, and I just sit and zone into my own head, and I meditate that way. I also have an app on my mobile phone, um, which helps with meditation. Step six is don't stress over the little things. So many of us stress over everything and our minds tick over what can be, what what if she said that, what if she said that, and we, we play out scenarios that haven't even happened yet. Do not stress, you're not in control of everything. You can't control everything. So just focus on what you can control. Uh, for example, um, my server's down at the moment, so I've contacted them, they're sorting it out this morning, and I'm like, you know what, I can get on with all the rest of my other work that I can't, it's a bit of a nightmare with the server being down and the websites and things, but you know, they're working behind the scenes, I'm not going to stress, I can't, I can't whiz over on a plane to America to go and sort it out, I wouldn't even know what I'm doing anyway, so you know what, chill, it's a bit of a pain, but don't stress, they're going to sort it out, I can carry on with my work. Step seven is to actively listen to someone who's speaking to you or with you. You know, don't talk at people, talk with them and talk to them. Um, there is a big difference. A lot of people get that kind of confused. And you know, it's kind of, if you go for a coffee with someone or even a meal, as I mentioned before, put the phone on silent and turn it over and give them quality time with you, 100% quality time. And step eight, stop multitasking you know if you're making a coffee or you're reading a book just do that don't be doing everything for everybody don't be trying to cram everything in within the day focus on one task at a time one project if it's a big project break it down into little tasks and then go from there but you know you're gonna find that within your business in your life you're going to cover so much more you're going to be more present and give attention to much more things but also you're going to cover so many more tasks because you're not multitasking but also with giving um more attention and being present within the moment it actually focusing in and you're honing in on your family and your children and you're paying attention and you're not skipping out anything that's really really important where you could be if you're going mm, Mm, on the mobile phone. So there are just eight little steps. So I'll just run them through very quickly. Step one, pay attention and be present. Step two, turn your phone and your laptop off, all those tabs and everything. Step three, take a day off to refresh and recharge. It's great for your batteries. Step four, get a good night's sleep. Step five, relax and meditate. Step six, don't stress over little things. We're not in control of everything. Step seven is actively listen to someone who's speaking to you and with you. And step eight, stop multitasking, especially women. We're all guilty of all of that anyway. And you know, if you follow all these steps through, you'll improve your relationships, you'll attract more people to you because they will feel important in your presence. And that's, you cannot even buy that. That is just completely, you know, if you're genuinely interested in them, you're actively listening, they're going to come back to you more and more. And they're also going to recommend you to other people, especially if you're clients and customers, you know, within your business. Um, but your family is also going to know, you know what, actually, Rebecca actually listens. Um, and the children, you're going to gain much more respect off the children if you're not always on the phone all the time. And when the phone rings, you know, just let it slide. You're in the middle of a conversation. So if it's that important, you know, just say, excuse me, sorry, I've got to take this. And then as soon as you go back, try and remember the last thing you said within that conversation to get yourself back on track again. 
So what I want you to do is to tell me one thing that you've done when a person you've been talking to wasn't listening. I kind of, now I just stop talking. If, if you're not going to listen, I, I just stop talking. So, um, but I would love to hear from you about what you did when someone wasn't listening to you.